This is a very busy spot. I head up Swain Street and watch it. I just have a pause here to look at this photograph in the window. It's at one time Coes used to come up through here. <laughs> Things have moved on a bit since then. This corner's gone to one day look very different to the end of Angus Street. All that's been dilapidated and not developed, but uh, all the cottages up there have been improved no end. Hard to see exactly, but I think there's a whole new block of buildings beyond the ones we see here. When we came here first, there used to be a place there that made what you see advertised on the wall. They've gone. And around the back there was a linen mill where you could buy cloth and uh, all sorts of sewing materials. And they've gone. And you can still see the old uh, turbine here. Used at the uh, mill. And up there, indication that there was a farm here at one time. Horsham Cattle Crossing. The mill was fed by water from this Washwood River. But it seems to be getting a bit overgrown. Always used to be kept clear. This is steam rising from Washwood Paper Mill. Sadly, a time limited situation because uh, the news has been announced of its closure, which is quite serious for watch its employment situation. Years ago there used to be a railway siding there into the paper mill. But uh, a long time ago they relied, changed to rely on road transport to bring in the waste paper. The Wasswood River does run down beside the paper mill. And it always struck me it would be an interesting railway exercise to uh, have that connected to the railway again. And have a fleet of tankers in there, right by the riverside, filling up with river water and possibly running down by gravity to watch it in between the trains and then bring the river water directly into the marina. That would go a long way to solving the fact that it silts up because if the marina is always topped up by fresh water when the gates are opened the seawater carrying the silt won't come in. This is a scheme we're organised. It'd be a lot cheaper than trying to redivert the, the river. And perhaps the empty wagons could be stockpiled down at the marina end and brought up the back of West Somerset Railway train at the end of the day. Perhaps even uh, disconnected as the train went by. And uh, again, allowing gravity to feed those wagons back into that site. Just a thought. A lot of visitors to watch it, uh, who come especially to film trains, can get misled by the steam from the paper mill. Seen from various locations, it looks as far there's a steam train on its way. In fact, there should be one on its way now. But, uh, I cannot see any sign of the steam, but very often they suddenly appear to that uh, little copse of trees. Right, here comes the first train of the day.
some stations over there, but whether we'll see any more steam to uh, indicate that the train has arrived at that station, I don't know. Just a little. Anyway, I must move on now if I want to film Tornado in another location. So that will be the next train along. Right, I'm about a third of the way on the old mineral line trap bed from Watford to Watford from Watford. I think I've got here in time. I can hear people's voices, so I won't be the only one here to film a tornado. Indeed, no. <laughs> Can you take high vis off? Thank you. Extra sound effects, unfortunately. Eh? 